I don't know if it's just me or you or anyone, but I know everyone probably saw that video. Uh, D Way was in the car, right, with his son, and his son was talking about his son or a girl, whatever. Was talking about uh, his, him wanting to be. A, I didn't uh, see the video. I didn't see the video. Okay, I well, saw the only video I saw was a video of Boozy. Okay, well, I get <laughs> do we, do we, and then I just saw where Dwayne was on Ellen, and that's when he said, like, but there's a video of his son talking and explaining why he feels that way and wants to do that. But yeah, yeah. I didn't see that video, yeah. So basically, he's like talking about it and explaining why he wants to do that. Why <coughs> did you not watch it? I mean, I watched some of it, but he's basically like, uh, explaining like how he's always felt this way and this, this, and that, and the other. But I'm like, we, we all agree. You're t- since when? Like, he like felt that so way since when? What I saw when he said Ellen, I saw that he he knew he was like that since he was three. Bro, I don't even know how to wipe my own ass at three. Exactly. Like, properly. Like, do you, you, can do you, you think it's, at three? Like, do you think it's something that they've known for a while? It's just not getting released to the public? Because in my mind, it's like, I mean, I he say said, maybe, where he said, where he said it was like, I've always thought like that. Like, if you always treat them like that, then yeah, they're gonna think like that. I mean, I know? say maybe like he was kind of curious at age eight or nine because he's what twelve now. Yeah, I and didn't know then, about then. I mean, go ahead. I'm reading dude, up on it. No, I don't. I don't know, man. Like it's it's kind of a touchy subject as far as like. I mean, bro. Like, <laughs> I was gonna bring up something from uh, Fearful Friday. This is crazy. But like. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know. I, just, <laughs> I guess y'all find out in Fearful Friday. I, I don't know. I personally think, like, <laughs> I, I, I just don't get, like, there's nothing. To me, There's I have no problem with anyone being any of the other orientation or like. Nah, anyone. Not at all. But I think the problem I have now with society is that everything is so normalized. So much. And everything's just so normalized to the fact that. To me, this shit's not right. No, to, to, I mean, bro, personally, like, I just don't think you should change your like. I don't care if you're gay or whatever. That's fine, but changing your gender—that's not right. There's so much like genetically, uh, scientifically, like you were saying. Oh yeah, so like, dude, <laughs> I don't care if you're gay, straight, bi, want to be a female, want to be a male, whatever. Right. Um, if you're a good person, you're a good person. Like, I'll still fuck with you. Definitely. But at the end of the day, like, like whatever you believe, whether it's buddhism hinduism christianity whatever like that's going against everything those teach and let's say you don't even believe in religion like that's going against what biology has taught you know like you your body was made a certain way and so like for example me and audra watched a show called i am jazz and it's about like (laughs) a little transgender boy who like finally got like the gender confirmation surgery and like after that surgery was he he has to use like dilators or basically like small dildos Mm -hmm. And then, like, the dildos slightly get bigger so the wo- wound doesn't close. So it's like if your body is naturally rejecting that, like, to keep the wound open. <laughs> That's, to, like, That's sick. That's yeah. So <laughs> like, like, bro, if you got to constantly put dildos up your new vagina... Like, that's a sign that, like, biology wasn't created... Or, like, we weren't created that way for a reason. Yeah. That's you know? Just, that shit and if you don't right. use the dildos, like, you're basically going to look like a fucking Barbie doll. Yeah. You know? And that shit's just... Can you die from that? I don't know. I feel like... you th- can't pee. I feel like that shit is just, Maybe. like, genetically... Like you said, I just... It's just... To me, it's just too extra. And what I hate now is everyone that speaks out against things like this... They like get thrown under the bus, like they're in the wrong when they're just speaking their piece, like how the other everyone else is speaking yeah, their bro, piece. Like, it's the same thing. Like it's it's like you can't voice your people get mad at you voicing your opinion if it doesn't like, agree with their. I opinion. just feel like people like that get like people who are like that get so offended by it. I'm just like, then why are you like that? That's what I'm saying. And yeah, like like you know, obviously you, you get know, offended by us talking about you being a transgender. Then why are you why are you like that? And the minority, and you know, yeah. you know what's gonna come with it. Yeah, like you know the repercussions. Like you, everything has a consequence, good or bad. And I, you know, I just also with Boozy, like Boozy, he can speak out all he wants. He has a freedom to speak speech like everyone else. Absolutely. Um, what I personally think, like obviously the way he came about it and said it, probably wasn't the correct way to come about it. (laughs) No, like he just came about it like just some some dude straight from New Orleans, (laughs) like just didn't give a fuck. But 
I don't, I I mean he what he's saying lie, that shit me what around. he's saying is true though yeah. bro he's he's only he's twelve like and what he said, let he him was like, he let was him like, become a full adult to where he makes his own decisions he said something like how does he know he want like a like a boy I mean a girl when he's sixteen yeah. or something like that yeah it's true though because like, like like I mean look at girls who are tomboys you know yeah like they grow out of that stage yeah. by the time they're mid teens teenagers yeah. whatever like. Puberty does a lot, and he I mean, hasn't even hit puberty yet. That's that's another so, thing. So I mean, like, yeah, like you one can't. Of, one of Cameron's friends was straight, then went lesbian, and now straight again. Yeah, like you know, like yeah, bro. I mean, and like that's fine. Like you like who you like, and that's fine. Like I don't have no problem with that. Yeah, if you're it's gay, just you're about. Gay, I don't care. It's just about it's just the, the, the changing. Yeah, like, that's that's yeah. what I have a problem with. And especially at that age, it's like you're putting that in someone's brain already. Like, it's and a, to normalize it too. That's another thing. That's like, well. Like when we have kids, yeah. Like, is that gonna be like, oh well, just because you like the color pink or whatever, you should be a girl? Like, no, bro, that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, yeah. you know, like just because you like pink or salmon, whatever. Yeah, like that doesn't mean you automatically want to be a girl. But people, by the time we get to the point where we're gonna have kids, people are probably gonna be like, oh, you like pink, you should be a girl. I'll see. You know what else like, is no. crazy? <laughs> and now you're putting like bullshit in my yeah. kid's head, you know? Yeah. And what else is crazy is that people genuinely try to like force these propagandas i i i just don't understand like i i get on twitter and yep. i'll see people and they'll, they'll, they'll show like dudes yep. in dresses or kids in dresses and then they like try to force that right yeah soon as someone speaks out about it oh my kid's not wearing a dress blah 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 then society comes after and attacks that person like yeah y'all like, are homophobic like yeah your kid can't wear a dress blah, blah, blah. no that dude personally doesn't want his son exactly. wearing a dress like sorry, that's like, we don't, we don't what like, he wants to do. Just because he doesn't want to do it doesn't mean, and just because everyone else wants to normalize it doesn't mean he should. You yeah. should be accepted to doing that as well because that's what society wants to push. I just don't agree with it. I mean, bro, at the end of the day, like it's their life. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you do. Yeah. But at the same time, don't try to like push your beliefs on me if I don't necessarily fully agree. With, if I know? don't believe, if I don't believe it, then yeah. don't get mad either. So yeah, exactly. And if like people are speaking out against it, like don't get mad at them for like expressing their I mean, it's beliefs just like religion when like they're when they're expressing their beliefs on like trying to normalize it the people who aren't for it are just expressing their beliefs so you yeah. can't be mad at them you can't be mad at someone how they feel yeah and i just personally think like you got race and all kind of other stuff that's like to me i think it's bigger those issues like race and issues like that are probably bigger but you don't see a black person or a hispanic person or vice versa trying to change their skin color and adapt to the other society because I mean Michael Jackson did Sam yeah Sosa did. but he was like I mean he already had but I don't, but I don't but they think already, they did yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I <laughs> <up>. <laughs> but they already had like diseases but but anyway but still yeah, like people nah, aren't just with you. people aren't just like oh I'm black like bleaching their body I don't want to uh, let me be white because I want to be white like you don't see that happening and yeah. if we did see it happening who like what would we what would we say then I I guarantee you that would get worse backlash than a, a male trying to be change a you think. I think, I think so. so, because it's a race thing. As soon as it comes like race thing, people either are afraid to talk about it, or that's true, or they they're afraid to talk about it, or it gets bigger than what it should be. With other stuff like this, it's like, oh, if you don't support, it, then you're just, uh, I don't know, you like you don't care, or you don't have a certain heart, and it's like that goes down to our society just being, yeah, just kind of soft. <laughs> this just, shit is just soft. I agree. Sure. I, I mean, I agree to an extent. Like, obviously, you don't know. Like you said, that book you read, and you don't know about people and who they are. But like back then, yeah, it was like way different than it is now. Because, like I said, we're learning more about the psychological people than the, like yeah, they even yeah. tried to back then. So that's why I say I agree to a certain extent. But yeah, I, I mean, mean, to I mean, it is because you do have to kind of watch what you say. No, most definitely. They were, um, which is like kind of crazy because, like, our generation, our generation grew up on like South Park and Family Guy and like yeah. and jokes. shit like that. Or South Park, I used like to watch South Park all it's the like time. The worst and shit they ever. don't care who don't South Park, Park Family Guy, the Boondocks, Boondocks is bad too. Yeah. yeah, and like I was watching, or we were, I was watching uh, Hex's eavesdrop, and he had a uh, TP and what's his name, Maybe. Yeah, he had them talking, and they were they were talking about like society being soft. They were saying like how he was streaming one time, and he talked about someone having a stroke. And, and he got messaged. Like, yes, he got message. Somebody took offense to that. It's like because he was like, he was like oh, trying like, to comprehend how that was offensive. Yeah, and like what? now exactly like now everything so like is you offensive. have to walk on like eggshells of what you nah, say. Bro, like, like, 
Like it's because everyone like gives out participation trophies, you know, and like like I'm not gonna t- I'm not gonna say what I said to him when he walked out the door, but I know I could say that to him though. Yeah, yeah, you know, like that's and like I only say certain stuff. And you have to kind of know you have to kind of know who you're talking to. That's for sure. Us even getting adjusted to this platform, we're like damn, we can only say certain things because. It hasn't hit us yet, but I'm sure there's gonna be a time in the future where we're gonna say something and the shit's gonna backfire. Yeah, people are gonna yeah. be like, "Oh, you're fucking." Like somebody, like or, five years from now, somebody go watch this video and like say, "Oh, yeah." I mean, depending on how society is moving, suck, like, yo, yeah, they're gonna be like, "Oh, y'all." You know what I'm gonna tell them? Y'all should have been swallowed or some shit. You know what I'm gonna tell them? Don't watch the video. Yeah, that that's simple it. as that. that. Is, I mean, <laughs> like, and that's the thing too is like people are so sensitive, but like yet they go out of their way to, to look find at ways it. to get offended. Yeah. It's like, bro, what's wrong with you? Like, you literally are just trying to cause problems. Yeah. And it's so, like, you're literally what's wrong with society. Yeah. Is like, don't, if, bro, I don't know. Like, I think cyberbullying too is like, I don't I, get that. Did I don't see that kid. Like, bro, bro, just turn your phone off. Yes. Turn I don't understand. Okay, did you don't see that app. kid, bro, that was like, turn off the Xbox he had like Down syndrome something. and he was getting bullied in the car. Did you see that video? He's like, he, oh, no, he was a, a dwarf. Yeah, yeah. He was a dwarf. He's like 18, though. He had like money, though. No, he's actually nine, but they do, they're like hella rich. So, like, I, but still, like, I, I don't know about that, but I'm just saying, like, well, so an example. I, didn't, I saw like what was going on, but I didn't know what, like, I know he got bullied. I don't know if it was in person or on the phone. Whatever. I just know he has money. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong, though. <laughs> like, yeah, was it, did he get bullied in person or what? I think so. He got, um, he got bullied in person? Yeah, yeah. that's a little cool. different. But you saw Yeezys and Gucci on, bro? You know, I mean, don't they started to go fund me I mean, for like, him getting bullied. No. So that, like, what does that solve? Not shit. He's just getting money. Yeah, that's, that, that's that doesn't true. solve anything, in my opinion. Yeah, no, but yeah. I mean, like, like, don't get me wrong. Bullying is still, like, a legit problem. And, like, people can be assholes. Yeah. Even, like, kids. Kids can be fucking assholes. Kids are rude, boy. But, like, kids like are the worst. that falls on the parenting, you know? Cause like I'll be damned if my kids like making fun of a legit like disabled kid. I'll be like, dude, I don't know. Like I'll be very pissed off. Cause like that's not cool. I, f- I feel like everything's just a, uh, uh, everything in society now is either used like this D way thing, all this stuff is either used for mass attention or to generate some kind of revenue or profit. Yeah, I mean, it, I mean, I it genuinely did. think that now. Like a lot of these issues don't, I don't think you, the, like obviously you should use your social media as a platform. You have issues sure. that need to be addressed, but people don't use them. I think internet's just made it more like openly available. Cause like, look how long drag queens have been around. Like That's forever. Just, forever. You know? Like, yeah. and like RuPaul has been a thing since forever. Yeah. It was like the first drag queen. Mm-hmm. But, but so like, they didn't, having they didn't want a sex change though. Yeah, but I think they want to dress like a girl. Who's that one dude that's change. like hella famous that sells makeup and shit? You know Manny? what I'm talking about? Jeffrey Star. Yeah, Jeffrey yeah. Star. Yeah. Like he's like a drag queen, but or he he like doesn't claim his gender. He's not male or female. Or I don't know some some <laughs> some shit like that. What? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, he's but, an alien. But I mean, like I like I personally like There's fuck so with him as an individual. Okay, I personally fuck with him as an I personally fuck with him as an individual just because he just like does dope stuff and he's like a caring person. And like I said, I have no problem against somebody. I no, just, not at all. The only problems I have is when it's this push down our throat. And you know what, like, the LGB whatever community says? <laughs> so I don't mean to say whatever. I just don't know, like, off the top of my head. I was but, just thinking about what Chappelle said. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, you know what they say? You know what they uh, They literally push down, oh, you're sh- y'all are, like, pushing straight, like, propaganda down our throats. No, that's just what's going on inside. That's you're the normal. You're pushing... The, every time I watch a t- every, t- every time I watch a TV show, I all, there's always some kind of like now it's like literally it's it has to be in the script, yeah. which is fine. It doesn't bother me, but it's like they literally make it a point to do that to yeah. appeal to everyone, I guess. But but in reality, it's like 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 I said, I don't care what you do with your life; it's your life. Yeah. But like, don't try to make me like. Don't try to make me have the same beliefs as you. Yeah, you know, like we're all gonna be different. And like my beliefs, I'm not gonna push on anybody. Yeah. So don't do that to me. Like I said, I mean, I I I don't agree with the sex change, especially this young. So I mean, that's kind of where I just stand on how I think feel about it. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Well, um, then I got a little, I got the temperature rose a little bit in the room with that one. But <laughs> I, I like get some slander, so, but we'll see. We'll um, see. like I said, we don't mean to offend anybody with we're any of this. Speaking it's kind of our opinion and our thoughts and what we've been seeing and kind of wanted to touch on it. While it's still fresh, in the damn so if you have, you know, any comments, concerns, yeah, know, let us you, know. Like, let us know what you think on the whole subject. We'd like to hear different opinions. But this will do it for another episode of opinionated, off-topic, hot takes. Hot takes. Oh.
Ooh, that was a mouthful. Okay. Yes, sir. <laughs> uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Peace.